Right, welcome to part two of the uh, the van restoration. Um, what we're going to do now is attack this with a, with a sander and try and get the paint uh, down and also see how we can start fixing all these dents. It could be tricky, but uh, I've looked online. To, to buy a tower gate for a T4 is actually quite expensive and the ones on eBay, you pay 200, 250 quid and to be fair, they, they don't look in any better condition. You get a lot of rust around these edges and things, which this hasn't got. So uh, I think realistically, I'm just going to plug away at this one. It's not going to be perfect, but at least it'd be rust free and uh, we should do a fairly good job. And I saved the hassle of taking it all off, putting all the insides back in, the wiring, etc. Um, so yeah, in an ideal world I'd change it, but I think really I'm just going to plug away with this one. Right, let's get to it. It's quite wet at the moment, it obviously raining and I'm now starting to expose bare metal so what I'll probably do when I finish with this tonight I'll just spray a little bit of primer on it just to stop the elements rusting the, the, the exposed metal that we've just done with a sander and I'm sure you don't want to watch me do the whole of this tailgate so uh, I'll see you back when, when I've got, got it done. Okay so the, uh, the sander, the detailing sander, has done a fair job of getting most of it sort of sanded down, obviously I need to get in with some sandpaper and now I'll do the bits that I couldn't get in with, take the number plate off sort that out and get everything else about the same sort of uh, sort of condition sort of thing, getting all those cracks, get it all sorted, uh, sanded down still keep looking at this, wondering what I'm going to do about that but we'll just take it steady and uh, see how well it comes along now another thing I mentioned, I was going to change the spoiler, this has got a bit of a crack here, um, but the spoiler is bonded on and it's quite tricky to get off apparently, um, probably make more of a mess of the tailgate, so for what it is, I think I'm just going to work a repair on that crack, I could sand that down, fill that in, and I think that's going to be fair enough, so it's making too much work for myself because at the end of the day it's not going to be perfect but we just get it looking better than it does now just been fiddling with a with a hole in the or the, the crack in the spoiler and uh, this happened the bit fell out that was damaged so I'm actually quite happy about that I don't know if you can see in here but I can pull this back get that glued back in and the idea is to sand this down, glue that back in there, and then obviously add some filler. So the way it snaps, it's just a little bit too big. Sorry, the sun's a nightmare this morning. So if I can uh, sand that down properly, should be able to get that stuck in a lot more level than it was. And I don't know if you can see this dent here. It's quite deep. 
Um, so rather than just bung a load of filler in that, before I start adding the filler, I'm just going to pop the trunk, take the the, um, the trim off inside and just see if there's any way I can uh, pop that out. Alright, so just see, see what happens there. Alright, so this is where we've got the spoiler repair. We've stuck it back in, sanded it down. dust off the back so we can start having a look at uh, what we got to fill up. Nothing special, still a bit of fairy liquid, try and cut through some grease if it's on there. Right, with the filler mixed up now, we're just going to attack it. We've put little uh, little skims on, we can always build it up, we don't need to put too much on at once. Um, it's pretty hot today, so I'm hoping it's not going to go off too quickly. But let's see how we get on. So I'm going to leave that one there, let it dry off, and then sand it down and see what's what. We've got a bit left over, so I might as well attack the other bits as well. Okay, so we're making a bit of progress with the back of the van here. Um, just sanding it down now, we've added a filler, added a couple more layers of filler, sanding it back down. I think this one probably needs one more. So does that one. The others have come out pretty good. As I said, we're never gonna get it perfect, um, but it's fair enough. It's not gonna look so bad. And it's all painted, nowhere near as bad as it was, which is the main mission. That one is a bit of a pain, it's just massive. Uh, we're going to lose the detailing yeah, this rim here is probably not going to follow on too well into there I'll try and get it in as best I can but the metal's just smashed to pieces and it doesn't allow for a for an easy repair but it is getting there I'm going to put one more sort of uh, skim of filler onto that one more skim of filler onto that and I'm just going to sand it down so it's nice and smooth build it up with a bit of um, build up primer not much just to sort of fill in the little the little scratches here and there um, and I think really I'm probably looking pretty good now on the back the, uh, the spoiler repair has come out really good I'm really pleased with that so that's a, that's a positive now this is obviously the worst part of the van so once this is all prepped up and looking good for painting it's not a great deal to do on the side, it's just the odd little bit of filler here and there, but nowhere near to this extent. So, 
hopefully once we've made progress with this back things should start motoring on a bit quicker and let's get this thing prepped up uh, to get to the exciting bit which we all want to get to is putting on the colour but I'm just trying to show you it's not just a case of opening a tin of paint and rolling it on uh, not if you want a, something to be proud of once it's all done so I know it's a bit slow guys I know we're trying to get to the paint but I'm just trying to give a fair representation of the effort it takes for the finish I'll achieve not that it's going to be a, a, an immense paint job but um, trying to give it a fair crack to get something nice Right, so starting sanding the side down here um, I'm using 120 grit on the, on the uh, detailing sander or the mouse sander um, 120 does seem really heavy and if you were to get 120 and just rub it on the paint it would leave big scratches but when used in the, in the sander it seems to be about the right number to be honest things are roughing up quite nicely um, so I don't think I'd want to go any less It'll certainly give me a decent key for the, for the paint to stick to so I think I'm going to stick with 120 get, these, get this side done and get the other side done um, with the front bumper I'll take off um, and the bonnet's being done black and so is the roof so I'm almost going to treat that as a separate project when I've got the rest of the van painted up okay. don't want to take on too much at one time so first is to get this body looking good get the bumpers done and as I say we'll do the bonnet and the roof separately because they're going to be in black and the rest of the body is going to be in that teal colour so keep on sanding away get ready for some rush treatment and some filling which will be what's coming next so after attacking the arches with some 80 grit 60 grit just trying to get all this rust down this was the worst arch that I showed you previously um, so yeah just trying to get it back down to a reasonable state needs a bit more um, but just keep going at it and then as soon as the cure rust arrives which should be today we're going to get that on and then give it a coat of primer um, while you got the chance you might as well just attack it and try and get back to as best a metal as you can so we started working this side of the van which is taking shape slowly before attacking the other side just got into the arches there's a bit by the, by the door here just rub everything back, get rid of the rust and try and get it back to, to clean metal if I can certain areas are easier than others um, you're only going to do it once so you might as well make sure you get it right the first time I'm sure the rust will come back at some point they seem to always do that but let's just hope this is enough to keep it at bay for a few years yet yeah. bit of a problem this morning this is the 1.9 AHU TDI engine I fitted a bit tricky you get the ECU with this one when you don't in the other model uh, you can see the blue silicon hoses down here um, I changed the the injector hoses when I fitted the engine but they seem to be leaking this morning as you can see diesel everywhere so I just put those in for now and I'll try and order the, the proper stuff but if they break that easily I'm going to try the silicon ones and see how well they last so I haven't done many miles on it Right, so just took the front bumper off, just sanding it all down, just going to put some primer on the bits where the previous paint is peeled, um, just another part of the preparation, but I'm going to leave the prep there now, I'm sure you've seen enough. Uh, part 3, which I will get on as quick as I can, will be applying paint to the van, which is the bit we've all been waiting for. Okay, so uh, subscribe and I'll catch you uh, on the next video.